to also remind Mr. Allison that back in 2008, there was an interagency memo that Mr. Uh, Manzullo made reference to, and apparently the banks and examiners didn't get the memo, because here we are, and like three weeks ago, another memo, interagency memo, was sent. And that is my concern. If we're gonna put all the eggs in one basket and give all this money to the banks without any strings attached to it, that will require for the banks, if you take the money that is supposed to be to use for lending for small businesses, it got to go for that. But we are providing, what you're doing is giving a blank check again. Um, Mr. Posey. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, you and your agents, probably to a greater degree than that of the banks themselves would determine uh, how many more survive and how many more fail. Uh, following up on the comments of my colleague previously, most of the um, bankers that I've talked to, and we've had numerous uh, financial roundtables in the counties I represent and surrounding counties, would actually prefer a little dose of common sense to the infusion of more money, believe it or not. Uh, they mostly uh, swear to me that if, if they're allowed uh, to work through some issues without some monolithic bureaucrat beating them over the doggone head, uh, they can work out of this thing. They're very confident about it. Uh, and they're very confident that there's going to be massive failures if they're not allowed to do that. Uh, and, and let me add that uh, you're giving quite a few mixed signals here today. You're all against forbearance, but you're in favor of using common sense. Uh, and I don't know where you draw the line there. I mean, I really don't. Um, at every round table, they've also mentioned, and it's just about been unanimous, that they've heard the rumor that the Fed uh, wants to dramatically reduce the number of small banks in this country so there would be a more manageable number, uh, easier to regulate and probably manipulate. And so um, uh, I would ask each of one of you that have heard anything like that uh, to raise your hand right now. And let the record show that none of you have heard that, none of you raised your hands. Um, just to make sure that I got this on record perfectly, if you have not heard that, please raise your hand. You've not heard anything at all like that ever one time single. Okay, and, and two of you are absolutely stone damn deaf. You haven't heard and you haven't not heard. That's I think what Mr. Green was getting to a little while ago. It's very unfortunate. Uh, in, your, in your agency statement, you, um, you said, you all said, uh, for most small business loans, the primary source of repayment is often the cash flow of business. Uh, let me drop down to examination reviews. Examiners will not discourage prudent small business lending by financial institutions, nor will they criticize institutions for working in a prudent and constructive manner with small business borrowers. And that really sounds great. Um, and again, that would appear to invoke uh, common or uncommon sense, as the case may be. But on the ground, the reality is clearly different. I think we've heard that, uh, all, every member of this committee has heard that, uh, I'm sure. A question that I'd like to ask each of you, and if time runs out on me, as it probably will, I'd like to ask each of you to please respond directly if the chair has no objection um, to the chair and with a copy to members. Uh, you know, we certainly want to avoid more after-the-fact hearings about community banks which could have or should have been saved if only additional time had been provided for some of these problems to res resolve themselves uh, to full financial stability. And so I want to know what your plans are specifically, not generally, we're going to be helpful. I want to know what your specific plans are um, for helping institutions other than closing them or, or forcing them to be purchased by larger institutions, uh, which in many times have received TARP funds and which are now being given FDIC assistance in the form of loss coverage on the acquired assets of those transactions. Uh, I want to know what policies you have in place to make sure that examiners take into account the short-term and the long-term impact on the communities, the business, the households uh, served by these uh, locally-oriented institutions and ultimately to the taxpayers of this great country. Uh, how do you make sure that these policies are being effective, effectively implemented as well? And anybody could jump in there. I see you're all anxious. But. First of all, I'd like to state categorically that the Federal Reserve does not have a plan to reduce the number of banks in the country. Um, 
we are, are, are working not only with the guidance but also looking at gathering data within the, the institutions, find out what trouble debt restructurings are working, what workout practices are working, looking for st statistical ways to measure the impact of guidance and, and to look for call report changes that we can do. Oh, right. The most important thing is to improve the economy. And we what are you doing? How are you doing that? How are you going about it? Are there bureaucrats out there that are tasked in the next couple of years to figure this out? Or, I mean, you know, what's an action item? How do they really get rolling? How, do, how does the real world tell you what they need and then you uh, accept that this is realistic or it is a common sense approach? For example, they, they tell me, almost every banker, uh, they've, they've got a, a loan. It's never not been current. Uh, but if the father-in-law makes a payment or another company owned by the same principles makes a payment, it's off the books. And so that's collateral that they can't make money on. They've got to make up higher interest, more loans there. And it's money now that cannot go into the community and help another business. So it's, it's, it's a cycle that just perpetuates the downfall of our economy. How, you know, how, how would you suggest we address an issue like that? Again, by making our expectations clear, by communicating those to the, the front line level of the examiners, by talking to bankers, by talking to borrowers, by talking to examiners, by gathering information on what things are working, um, and, and looking at the overall impact. Because the idea is not necessarily forbearance, but to, to, to get the businesses and the banks to the point where the economy has improved. Thank you. I, I'll look forward, Madam Chairman, to the written response of all of them. We don't have objection. Uh, Mr. Miller. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I, 